I'm Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance. This is our September update. What we have here is a 65 Impala SS and we've developed a chassis for this. We're just in the stages of uh, building the first two of them uh, for customer cars. Uh, this one here is getting mini tubbed uh, and we're going to install the chassis for the customer and then it'll get shipped out and uh, built by Arlington Motor Cars. This 65 Chevelle came all the way from Arizona to get a chassis installed as well as some rust repair. Uh, we're mini tubbing it and also putting a new floor pan in the trunk. This 66 GTO is getting the exhaust fabricated now and then we will pull off the chassis and uh, do the powder coating. Uh, the customer recently decided to paint the car so we're going to re be repainting it as well. Thank goodness because there was quite a lot of runs and overspray and orange peel on it. This is the 65 Impala chassis. As you can see it's almost done. Uh, we're making jigs for it and so forth and uh, it should really improve the handling of that car. This is the 1967 Corvette uh, Roadster that we've been working on. Uh, both Corvettes, one coupe, one Roadster. We did wide bodies on both of them along with our Schwartz G-Machine chassis for C2 Corvettes. Uh, this one is uh, shark gray from a 2015 Corvette and this one's got the LS7 427 with the dry sump boiling system and uh, some custom interior touches that aren't quite done yet. The bare brakes uh, are 14 inches and these are the Pro Plus ones. We've been working on this 82 S10 truck for the last month as well. Uh, mainly we're doing uh, interior work, wiring and so forth. We've got the dash in there, the steering column, the steering wheel and so forth. Uh, take a look. This 73 Cutlass has uh, been fully dyno tested and made 600 horsepower at the rear wheels which is uh, over 700 at the engine without the nitrous oxide and we still have to do a little bit of driving on this to make sure all the bugs are worked out of it and then uh, it's going to the customer. He should have a lot of fun driving this thing. This is the 70 Cuda right hand drive car that we've been working on for a while. Uh, you can see the car is all done and we've been driving it a bit. Uh, we've just got it up on the lift double checking everything, tightening everything, making sure that uh, everything's still uh, in good shape. We've got about 180 miles on it. We're going to put about 500 on it before it gets shipped out. Cuda. Here's the 70 Cuda interior. As you can see, we hand fabricated aluminum grab handles. We've got uh, custom bezels for the door locks. We've got the uh, uh, billet aluminum uh, door latches. And then we've got uh, some brushed aluminum trim that separates the black leather from the uh, uh, tan. And then moving up to the dashboard you can see we've got uh, custom made AC vents the entire dash was fab from metal uh, we've got uh, a Dakota digital instrument cluster there uh, with the uh, uh, steering wheel that uh, matches the Foose wheels this has Recaro seats with the uh, heated and cooled option and then we've got the parking brake on the right hand side next to the seat uh, this customer required uh, backup camera, parking sensors, which have all been integrated into the back of the car. Uh, we went with kind of an AAR CUDA theme with the stripe down the side, slight variation of that. Uh, Murray Paff uh, helped us with the design on this one. Uh, the paint is a PPG product and it's an orange pearl, so when the sun hits it, it really pops out. Uh, this has the Foos uh, brushed aluminum center uh, wheels on it and they've uh, they're the three-piece modular units, the real expensive ones, not the single-piece uh, cast ones. Uh, we've also got parking sensors in the front. They have a rather large front license plate, so we made a bracket to fit the size of their license plate. We've got uh, driving lights and uh, uh, headlights uh, that are high-intensity units. Uh, the uh, Bear Pro Plus brakes are on here uh, with the Schwartz logos. And this also has the uh, Ride Tech triple adjustable with remote reservoir. This is our 426 Hemi. This is the modern 64 that's been bored and stroked to 426. Uh, this has a Magnuson supercharger and it made 805 horsepower on the dyno and uh, around 800 foot pounds of torque.
got a very good exhaust note. Dynomax mufflers in this case, and uh, real smooth, comfortable ride from our Schwartz G Machine chassis and the RideTech triple adjustable shocks. The beauty of these uh, shocks is you can really tailor the ride quality to be nice, and then uh, for racing purposes, you can dial it up to go racing. So it's uh, having your cake and eating it too. It's so quiet in here, you could have a cell phone conversation. And the window's down. Well, there you have it. A fully running and driving and functional car that started out as just a body shell.